Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today with this sex of face to do. Yeah, One Piece episode of Mary special. The Tale of One More Friend episode review. Now, before I get started, I can't give you guys a link in the box below because it may be from some illegal site. And if Crunchyroll have it, then I'll put it. If they don't have it, then you got to go on Bing, Google, Yahoo, whatever, do your thing. And the reason why is because I don't want to risk Toy Animation or whoever, like some random Japanese company, coming from the front, coming from the back, like, yeah, Nippon, 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 copyright strike. It's like, dog, like, where do you guys come from? Like, even the companies are ninja. It's like, bro, like, no one knows of you guys, but they come out of nowhere. So... In order to avoid the hidden Nimpo companies, I'm not going to put any illegal link in the description box down below. However, however, this review is going to be quick because people did send me PMs. I'm going to say around 25 to 30 PMs I got over the course of the past few months wanting me to do a review of this episode special of Mary. The only thing I want to talk about really from a reviewing standpoint, is going to be the animation and the pacing. And that's it. So, that being said, oh, and a few more things here and there. So let me start with those few more things. First of all, I did like how we started off at, like, before Film Z. Because clearly the characters are in their Film Z designs. And it's even before, like, that one random Nami special. Or, like, there was one episode where it was, like, Nami, she was in some like, she was in some like rainbow bikini. It was complete fan service, just straight up tails everywhere. And by the way, if you're wondering, I, I'm not gonna say ass because Nami's flat to begin with. But the thing here is that it was just all about tails, and it was like Brooke like staring at Nami's tails like the, the entire time. That was the entire episode. So <laughs> it's even before that where we see Usopp, and Usopp is talking to Brooke about the going merry. And the Mary's importance to the entire crew, including Frankie, even though Frankie wasn't really part of the crew at that point in time. So, the entire special is a flashback from Usopp's perspective. So, they cover Water 7, and they cover Ennis Lobby. So, automatic, when it comes to the pacing, it's going to be extremely fast... Because when you compare this episode special to that of Nami, Nami's episode special was only one arc. And when you compare the Arlong Park or the whatever one, yeah, the Arlong Park arc to Water 7 and Ennis Lobby, it's a joke. Because Arlong Park is like maybe like 20, no, no, not even, like maybe like 10 chapters, 10, 15 chapters. And you're comparing that to like Water 7 and Ennis Lobby. Those two arcs individually are bigger, are larger than the Arlong Park arc. They just are. So, they, so they're covering a lot of material within give or take an hour and 30 minutes. So that's a lot of material to cover. That's a lot. So when it came to the pacing, they mainly highlighted like key points that they felt that were relevant. Like they didn't show you the scene of Luffy like, pushing the two skyscrapers apart, and then Zoro cutting through. Like, they didn't show the Aqualodia scene. The Aqualodia, whatever it's called, scene. They didn't show that. They showed you scenes that mainly revolved around Mary. And they also show you, like, the main fights in Ennis Lobby. Like, we don't get to see the giants come in there. We don't get to see the train go over the fence. And no, no, no. All we see is, like, the main bouts between the CP9 cats. In fact, any Lobby starts off with Luffy versus Bluno. And then we go from there to the scene where they all standing there, all cool and shit. Like, you know, say you want to live, Robin. Like, yeah, Ikita yeah. Like, whatever. I don't know, I'm Japanese, but screw it. And then we basically jump over to when they're in the tower, then we see the main fights, and so on and so forth. So, actually, no, I'm sorry. We see the ending of the main fight. See, that's how fast they, have, they, had, they had to cover it. Because, again, they're covering two arcs that are fairly long. So, they show you the ending of the main fights, With the exception of Luffy versus Luchi. That's like the one fight where they 
Well, no. That fight at Usopp versus Luffy. And when we have Zoro, Sanji, Chopper, and, Lu and Luffy go into the Frankie House family and take him out. So, the only two fights that are actually fully shown or somewhat fully shown were Usopp versus Luffy. Well, that, that was completely shown, redone, and that was actually pretty damn good. And the Luffy versus Luchi fight. The other sub fights were pretty much cut to the ending parts, and that was it. And then they will show you flashes of what happened here and there. So, overall, when it came to the pacing, it's extremely fast. It's extremely, extremely fast. However, it had to be. Because, again, you're covering a lot of episodes, a lot of chapters, in only 130 minutes. So, and if you take, in, if you take into consideration the normal pacing of a One Piece anime, the One Piece anime normally covers one chapter per episode. And an episode is like 25 minutes. So they're covering much more than that in an hour and 30 minutes. So again, a lot of the cover. So when it comes to the animation, okay, from an overall standpoint, if you're going to compare the animation of this special to the original anime, the animation is sharper. There is more contrast. When it came to the details of the facial features, like for example, during the Rob Lucci versus Luffy fight, you see Luffy's face. A lot of times it's very detailed. His, his emotions are very well depicted in his facial features in the, in the episode special. The same thing applies for the Merry Funeral. The same, thing, the same thing applies for the Usopp versus Luffy fight. When it came to the facial expressions of the entire crew and their reaction to this fight between these two crewmates. So, if you're going to compare it to the original anime, some things were done better. However, overall, I wouldn't say that it was better. One thing that I did notice was that it did seem to be less brutal in the special than it was in the original anime. With the exception of the Luffy versus Rob Lucci fight, for example. I did notice how when it came to Sanji versus Jabba, okay, and then they, they show you the ending scene. Sanji does his devil leg, because I can't say Diablo Jumbo, because I, oh man, that name I destroy, I butcher it. But, <laughs> the thing here is that when he does it initially in the original anime, the end result is not only Jabra just twitching and convulsing on the ground, holding his stomach because of the pain, or his chest, I forget which one, stomach, chest, whatever. Some part of his torso. The thing here is that there's also like just this huge amount of blood from his mouth all the way down to like his neck. That was in the original anime. In the special, it's not there. There's no blood. So I did notice that. The Nami and the Khalifa fight, I couldn't really tell. Because Khalifa does do a Shigen to Nami's shoulder, which was kind of the same thing in the anime. But they did miss out that one part in the anime, in the special. Where, like, Chopper, he grabs that one dude, I forgot his name. What's his name? Uh, Kimamori, whatever his name is. Like, he grabs him how in the original anime. He just throws him, like, mm, yeah. Like, that, that, that was nasty. That was, mm, yeah. like it, it, it was just brutal. But you don't see that in this episode. You just don't. In this episode special. So, the first thing is censorship. That's number one. A lot of scenes were toned down, from my recollection. Number two is that, and I think, and possibly, possibly, I'm overthinking things, but... For sure, you did see a lining of skin when it came to a lot of the characters, right? For example, Khalifa, she was like, she was like pasty white. I was like, whoa, what the? You were not that white in the anime, in the original anime, you were not. And what threw me off the most, because I think Luchi was a little bit tanner in the original anime, I'm not too sure, but... Robin and Bluno for sure. 
All right, yo, Bluto was a straight up nigga, and they make this dude look like he's Latino. I'm like, what the fuck? Wait, I'm like, I'm like, pause. Like, wait, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a second, hold up. Who the hell is this guy? I'm looking at Bluto. I'm like, who is this dude? This, this ain't Bluto. Cause Robin, listen, I've mentioned this before in the past. Robin, especially when it came to the like initial time scale of the anime. Robin in the pre time skip, she looks like a straight up Latina, and Bluno is not that. He's not that white man. He's just not. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, yo, like there may be a hidden, yeah, there probably is a hidden agenda there. Cause that's, nah, man. Like, nah. Nah, no, Bluno is a straight up brother. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let, let me go search up real quick, all right? I'm gonna type in Bluno from One Piece. Let me just make sure I'm not going crazy. Let me just go crazy, man. Yeah, yo, look, this dude's a straight up nigga, and you're gonna tell me they made him shit pasty, man. They made this dude pasty as fuck. Like, they just grabbed some flour in the kitchen set, mm, and they just threw it on Bluno. That's what you get. Look at this picture right here. Come on. Come on, man. You can't tell me. Look at this picture right here from the original anime, and look at this picture from the actual special. Get out of here! They made this dude pasty as fuck. Nah, nah, there's an agenda there. There, there. There's an agenda there. I know there's an agenda there. This dude is a straight up brother. And then they change this dude on the fly. I don't like that. I hate that. There's an agenda there. I'm not digging that. No. I'm not, no, no, no. I'm not liking that at all. So, that's number two, alright? There's a hidden agenda here. And I see it. Number three. Number three. Number three. For some reason, the dynamic scenes in some parts of the Rob Lucci versus Luffy fight weren't that good in comparison to the original anime. One scene in particular started off better than the original anime, but ended off really awkward in comparison. It is the gear gatling, you know, like the... Gomu Gomu no Gallon, like the one where he ends off Rob Lucci. And it starts off sick in the special, where Rob Lucci, he does the Tech Kai. And it's like Luffy's fists are impacting on Rob Lucci's body, but it's almost as if like there's a delay when it comes to the pain. Where in the original anime, it was immediate, where in the special, there's a delay in that. So that was kind of cool. But in the original anime, where Luffy ends up doing the Gatling, and then he kind of like falls down along with it, and he passes out, or he's on the ground and can't move. In the special, it was like, and I'm going to show you pictures right here. You see how in the original anime, he goes down along with it. Where in the special, he does like a skip, and it's kind of weird. Like, eh, 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 eh. It, it, it throws me off a little bit, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, like, you guys can clearly see, like, that, that difference. Like, to me, I think it was more, it was better in the original anime than it was in the special. Because in the special, it just seemed kind of awkward. Like, that skit, it just, it just did. And also, to nitpick a little bit more, when it came to the voiceovers of the characters, like, there were some scenes where Luffy, I remember in the original anime, like, for example, when he yells out Robin, like, when he, after he beats Bluno, he's yelling out Robin, I'm, I'm here to pick you up. In the original anime, if you if you go back to it, Luffy's yelling, and he extends the yell for a long period of time. It's like, Robin, 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 and it just goes on. And it's like, I'm here to pick you up, and it goes along the same line. Where in the special, they kind of cut that short when it came to the voiceovers. So, again, like, I think the reason why overall, right in the in Epiphany, I think the reason why overall it wasn't as good animation-wise as the original anime was because the little differences between the two, I think, overall add up. And the addition is good, but not as good as it was originally. Because the emotions... Yes, the emotions were there when it came to the Merry Funeral, but they weren't they weren't as strong. 
because we had glazed over so much. And that's a pacing issue. I understand because the pacing, again, you're covering fairly large arcs in an hour and 30 minutes. But still, but still, I did notice that. And what I do want to say is that this feeling of, it's not really a word, but inadequacy that I have for this special, the Going Merry special, I didn't have when it came to the NAMI special. Now, again, the NAMI special, a much smaller arc, much easier to do, but I felt like that shouldn't really be an excuse overall. Because they, they did a really good job, a phenomenal job, in the NAMI special, Tears of a Navigator, as opposed to this special, the Going Merry special, uh, Tale of One More Friend. Again, my personal opinion, my personal opinion, but it was good. So to give my final rating on the special, it was good, but it could have been better, for sure. So I'm done. I am done. King Lightning. Be sure, of course, rate the video, comment, and subscribe as always. Because I remember from the PMs that I got, uh, four I got recently, one guy said that it was utter shit. And I don't, mm, it's not utter shit to me. Because some cats, they liked it a lot. Some cats, they didn't like it at all. And me personally, I liked it, but it could have been a lot better. So I'm on the liking side but it still could have been better regardless was it utter shit I, I don't think so i don't think so at all that usopp and, and uh <laughs> that usopp and luffy fight was pretty damn good in the special as well as the beginning of the rob lucci versus luffy fight before he goes into gear second and before he goes into uh leopard mode because even though they did change up one scene which i thought was actually to me it was awesome. Where we have Frankie, he does the strong hammer on Lucci. Lucci isn't phased. And in a special, he does like one she get to Frankie. Okay? But in the original anime, it was like he's talking shit. He's like, yeah, so you be for Kuro, but my Doriki is five times his. And then like his right fist just turns to blurs. Just straight up blurs. And he just decks Frankie like like 15 times in an instant. And so he's like fucking, whoa. Like, I, that was nasty in the original anime. So, again, like, there's small things here. The small things. But the small things, they add up. They do. So, that's it. I'm done. King Lightning, give me your thoughts. What do you guys think? Utter shit. Not bad. Awesome. I'm along the lines of, I'm between not bad and awesome. It's good. Could have been better. So, I will see you guys later. Rate the video. Comment and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice day. One more thing before I go. I did notice how when it came to Rob Lucci's Roke Ogin, the sound that they gave it was the Kamehameha. They, they gave Rob Lucci's Roke Ogin the Kamehameha sound. So that shit was like, mmm. It was, it was, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty damn cool. All right, <laughs> I'm done. I'll see you guys later. Have a nice night.